Hello my friends, welcome back to another episode of Empire Total War and today we're starting off with the Battle of Persia. Not, well, I say battle. Eh, yeah, I guess you could say battle. I mean, it's probably one of the smaller ones. It's probably more of a skirmish in terms of Empire uh, Darth Mod sizes. But uh, yes, so the enemy have an elephant unit. I think that's probably what a lot of the uh, power bar for them is involving. We have um, some good grenadier units in here and a couple of good melee units so we should be okay um i think it's just i mean we outnumber them so that's just a small little deep problem <clears throat> and this is the point where i end up and losing spectacularly Okay. Hmm. Cannot see where enemy are setting up. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to try. There we go. I'm going to try and set ourselves up. <coughs> excuse me. Here with some handicap stakes. Do some more. Some more stakes there. I'm actually going to move these guys up a bit further just to utilize this little choke point. And everything else. Oh, we can use another one. Uh, we'll put another one across there. So we're going to completely block off those three access points. So the cav will take some will take losses if they charge down here. Our guys here can form square as well. Which is another nice little bonus. Okay. <clears throat> so, where are the enemy going to go today? Oh, look at all the elephants. So many elephants. So, I'm actually going to form up one of my units over here into square formation already. Put that unit over here. Oh no, these guys are coming down this way. Okay, never mind. Forget that. Form up here instead. Didn't it was the sound a little quiet? Nah, it sounds alright. Maybe it's just my headphones. Oh well. The sound will probably pick up when the battle actually gets going. Coming down this path. So originally they were going to come down here. Now they're coming down here. <clears throat> Put one of my swordsmen over here. I'll keep the other one at the back in reserve. Yep. Camels went straight for my square. I was going to say, the, the camels aren't taking any casualties. This is not good. But now they have. <laughs> okay. What? Oh my goodness, what are you doing? They were right there and you weren't shooting. You were just standing there even though it said it was firing at will. And it wasn't. Fire, damn you. Fire. Hmm. 
Hmm. Third rank? Yes. Lovely. I took out 11 of them though. Oh, the elephant's gonna. Do the, will the elephants get affected by the wooden stakes? I don't actually know. Uh, yes, they do. <laughs> Excellent. Ah, uh, you poor elephants, and they can't jump these, can they? So they're literally just gonna keep keep on walking into these stakes. And wow, okay. So the only people we're gonna have to fight off here is the infantry. Taking care of those guys there. Fantastic. Oh, you guys are getting shot at. Okay, that's a bad thing. So, run away, please. <clears throat> right, seeing as the cavalry, the camel, uh, the elephants can't get through there, I'm going to bring my rifleman around here. My, my grenadiers are going to come down here and we're going to block off this bit. I'm going to charge these guys out while my grenadiers form up. Nice big line. Never mind. We cause them to sort of break apart a bit there. Wait, who's in there? Wait, did the camels dismount? No, they're there. So, why does it say that there are camels inside that? Alright, let's see if we can get up close to those bowmen. Because they are taking out my... Janice and like, there's no tomorrow. Hurry up, go. Turn you off a of fire at will. Actually, can you guys shoot that cav? Okay, camel's coming back. It's possible we're shooting our own people there. Oh, they broke already. Come on. Damn it, let them retreat. And then... Fire at will. Really, some of you needed to reload. Oh, loads of you just got shot. The elephants aren't making any push forward because they can't. <clears throat> right, let's bring this sword unit down here. We'll send them into the fight against the uh, bowmen. See if that works. This camel unit is still alive. I don't understand this. How is my cam? How is my square formation not wiped them out yet? My guys don't even shoot at the camels either, which is a bit of a annoyance. Go swords, go. You are stronger than the previous unit. Should hopefully be better at taking out this uh, bow infantry unit. A lot of them are on our side of the stakes as well, so we shouldn't take too many losses from cavalry this time round. So I'm going to form up just off to the left here. We might be able to get some shots in there. Swordsmen are winning against the dervishes. 
181 against 300. Fantastic. Camels are losing. Bowmen are losing. Even some of the cavalry is getting killed off. Don't fire. I think we just caused our swordsmen to waver a bit there. Shot them in the back. Oh, we caused them to break off. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. Why have all my guys broken? You were winning on the flank there. Why did you break? Captain, get back over here. Oh, cavalry's just gone charging through the wooden stakes. Let them keep on running through those stakes. That'd be fantastic. Oh, we need to get a square formation in here. I need my swordsman to come back, please. Swordsman, come back. Oh, this is this is going badly now. I don't know why those guys broke. I've got no clue. Come on, go. Building captured. That's fantastic, but I don't need it. Come on, I need my swordsman back. These guys came back. Hold, Grenadiers, hold. Apparently I can't tell them to attack the camels. Okay, swords on the back. Oh, you're attacking them inside the house. I don't understand how this happens because there's n there shouldn't be any of them in the house. Okay. Same as how there's swordsmen in this house and I didn't ever tell them to get in that house. Okay. Well, I've just broken three of their units, so it's just their cav unit left that's looking like it's attempting to try and charge at us, but can't. So we got 210 bowmen, and then their cav unit. That's it. The ele the elephants gone as well. Oh, they did. Did they try and charge through this? Yeah, they did. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> yep, they tried to charge through the stakes again. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Some of the horses got stuck on the stakes. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to put your swords in there just to keep you out of the way. I'm going to properly retreat my guys back. I want these guys to chase me if they can.
See if these bowmen will chase after me. Okay, so the cav's gone. Enemy general down. How did you hit my guys? Are you shooting through the building? Is that what you're doing right now? Because that's just that's just not fair at all. <laughs> On fire, damn you. Oh, they broke. And they broke. Fantastic. Okay. That's it then. I think. All oh, the enemy are broken, yes. Okay, so we just about won that one. Wow. The sound sounds a little bit low to me. I don't know if that's my headset or not. Let me just uh, go back into the options again because this just sounds a little low. See if that's any better. Oh, that's that entire force wiped out. Thank goodness for that. It's one less raiding army to worry about. Workers on strike in Zagreb. Well, you guys are neutral, so I'm not going to worry about that. What the hell? Albanian Amavutla warband. Skirmisher unit. Ah, range 120, accuracy 40, reload skill 8. Uh, slightly less accuracy than my Hey Doot uh, Irregulars, but pretty cool nonetheless. Successful mission over here. Well, we're not at war with Russia anymore, so I might as well... Where is it that my agent... Oh, it's in there. Okay. I might as well take my agent out. We're not going to need them in Russia for the time being. I'll keep him in the area, but I'm not going to get him to spy on anything. I'll keep him somewhere around here. So there's this full stack. So this army can now start heading down here. So let's tell him to go here. There, that'll be good. So how much money am I making per turn? We're on five thousand and five and a half thousand. We're making four and a half thousand income. If I take two units out of here, everybody's still happy. I'm going to put those two units up in Chechnya. I just want to keep Chechnya as def well defended as possible. Now, this army is going to have to go against Austria. But what? where am I going to send it against Austria? I could go here at uh, uh, Galicia and P Podolia. I think is the name of it. So I could take this province. Take these troops from the forts that we battled for for a while in the last episode. The entire episode was that fight. So I'll take these guys out. We'll put them into Crimea. Okay, people are relatively happy still, so we'll get the army moving. That's fine. I've got plenty of money left over. So I don't need that guy in there. Right, ships. You over here. You here. You up there. So we'll send that guy to Istanbul. So this is my fleet now for the moment. We got two fifth rates, we got a fourth rate, we got two Zebex and one sloop. So it's a pretty small fleet to be honest. We got uh, 
another fourth rate. We'll bring that down. So that's two fifths, two fourths. Sounds like I'm a freaking mathematician, which is never ever going to be a possibility because I sucked at math at school. <laughs> uh, we'll put this guy in Jerusalem. Okay. So, there are no other Mughal forces in our territory other than this one. Next turn, this full stack will be joining in, I think. Although it's in a fortified stance, so it's been sitting there for at least two turns. So let's just attack this one. Pair the mine. Okay, we'll just quickly auto resolve that. 455. Fantastic. So we're training this army will cost 2100. Perfect. Training this army will cost 934. Okay. That needs repairing. What does that do? Mostly happiness stuff. Okay, so we'll do that. I don't think anything else is raided at all. I think everything else is fine. Oh, hello. Initially, hand mortars. I forgot about them. I don't really want to recruit any more units. I think now that I've got this art full stack army retraining and free to walk around my entire province with another full stack on its way down. Once the two armies are in the same province, I'll be able to I'll be able to hit back hard against the Mughal Empire. Everything they had in my territory has now gone. Their raiding has finished. The only thing that they had, well, technically the, the only thing they have left in our territory then is this little navy here in the port which we're blocking in I do have this full stack army as well but it's mostly made up of light stuff with a couple of cannons so I guess I got one full stack against one one stack against one and then we can just take back Zahedan and Kabul and uh, that would be pretty good I'm a little bit concerned though because Russia's navy and giant army is still wandering around I'm I really don't like that at all um, how much upkeep are these guys? 254. I might get. Oh, I can only get one. Oh, that's because I've only got enough money for one. Uh, I haven't set these guys to retrain, have I? No. Okay, let's not repair that for a moment. Let's get two of those guys. Oh, we'll get three. We can get three. Once I start attacking other pro provinces, our money should go back up. So let's save on the backup file here. And actually, let's check the diplomacy before I flip the turn. Russia is hostile. We got trade though. So now they're unfriendly. So we have improved. So we got a total of negative 99. I don't know what was hostile. Well, with the Mughal Empire, it's negative 75, but we're negative 99, and that's unfriendly with Russia. But the fact we've got trade now, that should boost my income a lot. 7,200, so it's gone up by about 2,000, or 3,000, nearly. Not a bad deal. We'll see if they stab me in the back now. Unfortunately, a lot of the roads run along my border. So I keep thinking they're going to cross over and uh, trespass. When in fact they're just running along the road.
Okay. Enemy raid in split. Interesting name. Okay, so. Making 8,000 now. Fantastic. Research. We got a lot of research. Just, it's just going. Th it's just going through the table. But I need to start building certain structures to get the next levels opened. There's a lot of raiding going along around here. Oh, hello, full stack Austrian army against my non-existent garrison here in Venice. Oh boy. Something tells me we're going to lose Venice. Oh dear. Well, I am heading towards their territory with my full stack that's just finished with training, so. Let's head over here. Yeah, oh, they do own Bulgaria. Completely forgot about that. I need to take that back. Oh, crap. Um. Hmm. Just look at the size of that Austrian navy. It completely dwarfs mine. I'm gonna head this way. So I need to get an army built in Istanbul to take Bulgaria back. And they have cannons there as well. So the accuracy is slightly is 10 points higher with the 18 pounder foot artillery. But the demi cannons have nine extra firepower and they cost 60 is it, what is that 60 gold less or 60 florins less so we'll get these troops built so I'll build myself a small army in Istanbul and we'll send them across to Bulgaria I've got a few extra units spare here in Ankara, so I'll take these two grenadiers over there as well. Okay. This army is going to be screwed if this if this Austrian force turns around. The plan at the I mean look at all these full stacks they've got here. Oh my goodness. I mean a, a plan now would be to try and distract the Austrians with an attack somewhere, but something tells me that that's not going to do much difference because these these full stacks here will just hit along this entire border. Unless there's a chance I can get peace. Is there a chance I can get peace? No, they have. They feel like they've just been insulted. <laughs> oh dear. France, we haven't seen you in however many years, and you're still at war with us, and you still won't accept peace. Really? Really? Crazy people. Okay. There's not really... Oh, this mine's damaged. I didn't realise this. There's not really a lot else I can do at the moment. It's just a case of moving stuff around. So my nearest port is here. Not that I can really do anything with my fleet because that Austrian fleet would just wipe us out in seconds. Zagreb and Venice, I have a feeling, are going to get annihilated in this next turn flip. So we may lose two provinces here. 
Now, should I turn this full stack army and head south to Bulgaria, or should I just wait until this army's finished building? Because I think I could probably take this place with a smaller force, like if I've built it at Istanbul, and then I can spare this full stack army to do something up here. Either way, I need to retake this territory. Do a turn flip and we'll see what happens. Well, there's France. Full stacks coming in from all over the place in Austria. Oof. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, there's just no point in fighting this one. 3,900 and 3,400 reinforcements. I mean, look at those troops as well. They've got a lot of heavies in there. You've got a lot of Lancers. You've got a lot of Hungarian Hussars. You've got Sir Belloni Kurassia. I, I, my pronunciation is awful. Basically, it's heavy cavalry. You've got Austrian-Hungarian militia. Okay, I thought they were heavy. They look. They, the picture makes them look like a heavy special unit or something. <laughs> so you've got... Old Moderna, uh, Kurasia. You got the Albanian skirmishers. You got some. Hal you got the Halle Regiment, line infantry. The Royal Hungarian line. Oh my goodness! You got Royal Hungarian Grenadiers. A lot of Royal Hungarians around here. There's just no chance I can do anything to this, so I'm just going to auto resolve that. Oh, we managed to wipe out 1800. Apparently, not quite sure how. But that, that means that uh, Zagreb is the next likely target. Oh, you bastards. You just reinforced Bulgaria. Gonna need to be, build an even bigger army now. You know what? I might as well just go for a full stack. Screw it. I might as well just go for it. Full stack armies everywhere. If Austria is building multiples, I might as well build multiples. My only problem is that I'm trying to fight two wars on two fr on two fronts. So I got my Eastern War against the Mughal Empire, and I got the Western War against Austria. Thankfully, I'm not at war with Russia anymore, so that's my northern border kind of secured. But uh, it's just two wars consisting of full stacks everywhere. <laughs> the Mughal Empire is not so bad because it's mostly light infantry, but it's full stacks nonetheless. Multiples of them because they're light infantry, so, so they have the advantage of numbers. Whereas I have the advantage of firepower. Mostly. What well on Portugal? Now, oh, I might as well take you out of there. Why can't I take you out? I can't take him out. Okay, fair enough. Just stay there then. Sweden against Prussia. I'm not going to join you against all of them. Are you crazy? No, I'm sorry. I would rather lose my alliance with Sweden than go to war with all of these people. No. Not happening, I'm afraid. So does that mean I'm no longer allies with Sweden? We're still very friendly. Oh, no, well, I am allies. I've just not joined the war. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I haven't. That's, 
Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not at war with them. Anyone. That's good. That's good. That is fine. Big army there. My big army here. I've got light infantry, though, which is not very good. Got an army there. I'm guessing that's going to try and go for Crimea. I could just bypass this army all to go uh, all together and go straight for there. Or I could just go for the fort first. Okay, yeah, we'll stick in the fort for the time being. Hopefully we can distract one of their armies or something. Okay. Technology advances. Oh. I can build this new barracks, which gives me the Nizam infantry. Finally. Four turns, and then we have that available. Let's get down here to this flat ground. If we get attacked by that full stack army, I want to be... Or well, should we just go straight for them? So they have two cannons, range of 800. I have three cannons, range of 900. Yeah, we'll go straight for it. Alright, 50-50. They have the advantage of numbers, but I have the advantage of firepower. So, thank you very much for watching this episode, guys. Next episode, we will be battling against this full-stack Mughal Empire. Um, hopefully, we can get rid of that, and then we can we can retrain our army and then press on to retake lost ground early on in the Mughal Ottoman War. Um, yeah, things are getting a little bit tense at the moment. We're making positive progress against Mughal, the Mughal Empire. And we're having very uncertain results against the Austrian Empire. So it's a very, it's a bit, of, bit of a seesaw in terms of our military accomplishments at the moment. But we'll see if we can turn that around. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next part.